Which is what Greece looked like anyway back in 2002 when I went there with my mate Paul. He fell off a scooter and took all the skin off his palms. Because my mate Paul, he, he did this party trick that he always does with the red nose. And he put it sort of on his intimate skin. And it sort of tore it and it went septic. My mate Paul was driving to Winchester when a lorry jackknifed in front of him and he was hurtling towards it and everything went slow-mo and Paul, who's never been religious, spoke to Jesus and said, I promise if I survive this, I'll believe in you. And he did survive, but he fractured his skull and broke both his legs. Why did Jesus do that to him? See, Paul never forgave him. He said, if I ever see Christ again, he's a dead man. A bit like my mate Paul who punched a waiter in a TGI Fridays for dropping his banoffee pie. My mate Paul met this Italian couple whilst he was backpacking and they invited him back to their room for a threesome and they gave him some LSD and when they got there, the bloke one pulled a screwdriver on him and made him shit in his own shoe and eat it whilst the woman one filmed it. Like when my mate Paul ate five ketamine brownies and thought he could communicate telepathically with any animal he saw on television. Although, whereas Paul ended up sectioned for his own safety, our ancestors decided to change the world. My mate Paul did a 30 mile sponsored walk to Harrogate dressed as Spider-Man for Help for Heroes. And on the day he had terrible diarrhea, but he soldiered on and it was one of the most noble but disgusting things I've ever seen. Eventually, the organisers had to intervene, but he raised £368. My mate Paul wrote a story about a man who got a, a new potato stuck up himself following an ill-advised sex game, and he wrote that in the form of a limerick. Like, my mate Paul invented a treadmill for his fiancée's pet snake, and the sketches for that were much more convincing than this, and he was on mushrooms. Mind you, the prototype did pull the snake's head off. Yeah. Worst ending to a birthday party I've ever been to. My mate Paul says the virus is spread by a new 5G phone signal, but the mainstream media is trying to cover that up just because it isn't true. I thought he was talking out of his arse, but then Paul explained how the phone companies use a Jewish computer to replace everything David Icke says with absolute bullshit in a bid to discredit him. As soon as he said that, the way David Icke doesn't make sense suddenly made sense. But my mate Paul sent me a video that exposes the whole thing. Can you prove the moon exists? You, you can't, can you? My mate Paul told me this joke about this bloke in prison who wore a bib round his backside. And that story went places I wasn't prepared for. Like, not even funny, just disturbing. And when I looked up, Paul was crying. My mate Paul's finding it extra hard because he's bipolar and his upside is remain, but his downside is leave. He's barely on speaking terms with himself most days, which is quite an improvement, actually.